October November 2023 paper 4 variant 1 question 1 so this is the reactions uh, between the fluorines and the chlorine uh, dioxide and this is the equation so one mole of fluorine react with two mole of chlorine dioxide okay and form the two moles of this product part a1 suggest a two-step mechanism for this reaction okay before you do this you need to get the most important info from the question which is the order the order of the reaction uh, cannot depends on the coefficient means uh, if let's say this is one mole this is two mole um, is not really represent this is the first order and second order so it must depends on the the data the results given or the statements given uh, in the question in this question already told you that the fluorine is the first order and the chlorine dioxide also first order so means both they are first order so you need to follow the information that given in this question and after that try to propose the mechanism in the part a1 so i recommend you all to start with this step let the step one to be the rate determining step and you must put the fluorine and the chlorine dioxide one more each on the left hand side the reactant because when you're doing this so you are telling the examiner that this is the first order and first order because in the rate determining step the most of the reactant is going to represent its order which means if the step one is the rate determining step and you put fluorine and the chlorine dioxide each one mole so they are first order because they appear one time only okay second step what you need to do is you need to put the products the products normally uh, you can put uh, in the step two the product side so in this equation is 2FCLO2 you put this one to the step 2 on the right hand side here so means you're going to put this one and this one first and you put the products in the step 2 right hand side then next step that you're going to do is you need to combine the two reactants here so the reactants here is f2 and clo2 actually you just need to combine these two so you just combine these two and let it form f2 clo2 just like this uh, this is actually intermediate we're not really uh, uh, we'll put this one in the overall equation so means you just let it be in this form it's all right after that once you put the intermediates here then you have to put this intermediate on the left hand side the step two left hand side here means the reactant side so because you need to eliminate these two because it's an intermediate you need to eliminate this one and you need to put this intermediate on left hand side in step two so therefore it will be eliminated later so what you need to do is just to balance because in this equation there are two moles of clo2 so you need to put another clo2 on the left hand side okay, in step two so therefore you get the balanced equation so for the a part two Identify the rate determining step in this mechanism. Explain your answer. 
so I already told you uh, let the step one uh, to be the rate determining step why because the fluorine and the chlorine dioxide they has one more each part B when the rate of reaction is uh, measured in mole per dm cube per cent again the values of the rate constant is 1.22 complete the rate equations for this reaction stating the overall order so this one is very easy um, the rate equation is rate equal to the rate constant times the concentration of foreign power one times concentration of the chlorine dioxide power one so because they are first order each overall order is just the sum of these two order first order first order so it's overall second order okay part two Use your rate equation in this part one. Calculate the rates of reactions when concentration of fluorine and the chlorine dioxide, both two times ten power negative three mole per dm cube. So you just need to substitute the rate constant value and the concentrations that given. So you get this rate. So the rate is four point eight eight times ten power negative six. Part C. Under different condition and the presence of large excess of the chlorine dioxide, the rate equation is this one. So it means now the rate is uh, affected by the concentration of fluorine. Because the chlorine dioxide is in excess, really in a large amount. So therefore, the rate now is depends on the uh, fluorine. Okay, so we just follow the rate equations now. Okay, which is this one the half life of the concentration of the fluorine is four second under this this condition part one calculates the rate constant and give its unit uh, first you need to know is the uh, for the because now is the first order for the reaction so therefore you need to know to the uh, the equations uh, to get the half life so the half life for the first order is um, uh, 0 0.693 over the rate constant so this is the one that you must uh, remember anything or reactions with the first order you need to use this one to calculate the half life okay so you just substitute the the half life because it's four seconds given so you can get the k constant easily so it's uh, 0 0.693 over the 4 second. So you get uh, 0 0.173 per second. So the unit is per second. And this is the rate constant. Okay, so for the part 2, uh, an experiment is performed under this condition. And the concentration for foreign, uh, the initial concentration is 0 0.002 more per dm cube okay draw a graph uh, on the grid in this figure 1.1 to show how the concentration of f2 change over the first 12 second um, so you need to know uh, is uh, the half life what is half life mean it means uh, uh, when it's a certain time so it will reduce the concentration by half in this reaction we know that the concentration of the fluorine will uh, reduce by half yeah, for every four second so means 0 0.002 will reduce to 0 0.001 after four second so because now it's the first half second so it's going to reduce to 0 0.0005 and after that 0 0.00025 okay so this is the concentration after half second uh, you need to plot uh, a few parts here so this one this one and this one and draw the tangent because it's asked uh, ask you to uh, draw okay, uh, the tangent right uh, so I'll show how the concentration change okay for the first uh, 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 half second okay first you need to draw this graph right so uh, you just plot here this one this one and this one okay draw a curve 
Okay, after that, this one is the tangent, uh, is, uh, is uh, for the following question. Okay, after that, uh, use your graph in the, this figure 1.1 to find the rate of the reaction when concentration of the foreign is 0 0.001 mole per dm cube. Uh, so 0 0.001 mole per dm cube means uh, this one, right? So you just uh, draw a tangent okay, at this point and find the rate. So you need to get the delta y over delta x. Uh, of course, the gradient is negative, but when you report the rate uh, of reaction uh, in chemistry, especially, uh, we just report it as a positive figure. So means you just need to get the delta y, delta x, okay, and you get the rate. Means you get uh, this value, delta y, and you get the delta x. So after that, you use the y over x, so you get this one, this value. Um, so it's uh, around 1.792 uh, times 10 point 84. This is my value. Uh, you can get your own value as long as it's uh, close to this. Uh, the range is uh, 1.5 to 2 times 10 point 84. Okay, so that's all for this question. Thank you.